everybody. Today we're going to explore, today we are going to explore how fractions and decimals are connected. So we've been talking a lot in the last unit, and you guys showed me on the test awesome work about decimals with tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. But one thing I realized was that I'm not sure we've totally gotten the connection between fractions and decimals. So today we're going to figure it out. And that means if you really feel good about fractions, this is going to help decimals make more sense for you. So when we say tenths, we mean 10 equal pieces. So like this is 1 tenth, this is 1 tenth, this is 1 tenth. It's one of 10 equal pieces. So when I write this, this means 1 tenth. Or it's, for example, this rectangle, this would be 1 tenth of the rectangle. If I'm talking about money, it would be 1 tenth of a dollar. So just like this fraction says 1 tenth, this decimal says one tenth. So, otra vez rapidito en español. Cuando hablamos de tenths, es igual como las fracciones. Eso significa one tenth o un décimo. So, when we talk about money, we know that we can use ten dimes or one hundred pennies to make a dollar. So, this is one tenth. It's one of 10 dimes. This is one tenth of the pennies. It's one of 10 rows of pennies. So we can call it one tenth or one tenth. Same thing. Because remember, if we go back here, that one is in the tenths place. That means it's one tenth. Do, 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 do. back this way. All right. You could also look at it using our squares. So this right here is one tenth. It's one of 10 pieces. We can write it as a fraction or a decimal. And this also shows us something kind of cool. This is the same as one tenth. I just divided it into more pieces. So it looks like 10 hundredths. And when I write it as a decimal, this says 10 hundredths, and that one in the tenths place gives me a clue that it's equal to one tenth. So when we use fractions and decimals, we can understand that, for example, one tenth is the same as 10 hundredths. It's easier to see that with decimals because I can just look and see that the one is in the tenths place. Whoops, not doing science today. So what are we going to do? It's pretty simple. We're going to match up fractions, decimals, and pictures. So here I am, I'm looking at our homework for today. So here's an example, 25 hundredths looks like this. And you can see I have 0.25. We can read 25 hundredths, or I have two tenths and five hundredths. And it's easy to see because I have two whole columns and then five of the little squares. So when you're doing your homework today, you would look through here and match up the pictures that match. So for example, if I pull this one, 0 0.75, that's equal to 75 hundredths. I look up here and I find my picture of 75 hundredths. So those all go together. Your job is to find which pictures, decimals, and fractions go together. Let's get started. <laughs> 